Hi guys, this is Ifra Mubaniz and in today's tutorial we're going to make this fondant groom slash businessman step by step. And before we get started, please subscribe to our channel, click the like button and turn on notifications. And keep watching till the end of this video for a surprise. So let's get started. For this tutorial we're going to be using 100 grams of black fondant, 25 grams of white fondant, 10 grams of skin colored fondant and 80 grams of whatever color fondant you have or you like as it's going to be covered with clothes. Now we're getting a lot of questions about the fondant we're using in our tutorials so I'm going to leave you the link to the best suitable fondant for sculpting in the description box down below. And if you would like to use the same tools that we are using in this tutorial, the link is down below. And before we get started, I would like to point out that there are two kinds of heads that you can put on this figure today. The first one on the left is the regular cartoon character and you can find the tutorial how to make this head on our YouTube channel and on our website. And the second one is our premium product, the Photo to Fondant Sculpting Tutorial, the hit that conquered the decorating world, and it basically means that you can sculpt a fondant figure copied from a picture. So if you are making your relative's wedding cake or just want to surprise them with a unique topper, you can download this tutorial and the link is down below. So we're going to start with the shoes, and for the shoes we're going to be needing two small pieces of black fondant, 4 grams each. Just roll it in between your palms into an oval shape and then start to shape it, just as you see on the screen, into, into the shoe shape. I am cutting out a small piece from the bottom to create the heel. And repeat with the second piece of fondant. Next we're going to make the pens, so for the pens we're going to be using 100 grams of black fondant, roll it in between your hands into a sausage 20 cm long, make the sausage thicker in the middle and narrow on the ends. 
fold it in half in the middle there are two ways to make the pants the first one is that we're using a black fondant to begin with and then we are shaping the pants out of the black fondant or like in this case we are making the legs from any color fondant you would like like some scraps you have fondant you're not using maybe leftovers and then we're going to take the black fondant and wrap the legs with the black fondant so to wrap the legs take a piece of black fondant roll it out to approximately three millimeters thick even two maybe And now take the black fondant we just rolled out and wrap the legs with the fondant. Cut off the excess. Make sure that you, when you are wrapping the legs that the seam is going to be inside the legs. After I finished wrapping the leg, I'm just creating some natural folds like you have on in pants using my fingers and the bread and tool.
finish the pants we're going to make the zipper line and the belt so roll out a small piece of fondant very very thinly cut out a very thin stripe of fondant attach it at the zip line And next cut out a long stripe of fondant and wrap it around the waist for the belt. Next we are going to make the body. I'm going to take 80 grams of any color fondant. Again, we you can use any leftovers you have, any colors that you don't usually use because we're going to cover it with the shirt anyway. So roll it in between your hands into a rounded rectangle shape. and then squeeze it on one of the ends to create the waist. For the neck, take a small piece of skin colored fondant, roll it in between your hands and attach it to the body. Again, we only need a small piece because we're going to cover it with the white fondant for the shirt, so this is the, this is the part that's going to be visible.
To make the shirt, we're going to take approximately 20 grams of white fondant, roll it out very thinly, three millimeters thick, and I accidentally forgot to film the part that I'm wrapping the body with the fondant, so I'm going to insert the part of another tutorial I made, so it's basically the same. Next, we're going to make the collar, so again, take a thin stripe from the white fondant and wrap it around the neck. To make the tie, take a small piece of black fondant, roll it out very thinly again and cut out the thin stripe, make a little triangle out of the fondant and attach it to the shirt. To make the vest, we're going to take 10 grams of grey fondant, roll it out very thinly, 3 mm thick, cut out a rectangle, cut out a hole in the middle and wrap it around our shirt.
To make the arms, we're going to take two pieces, five grams each of white fondant, roll it in between our hands into this rope shape, cut it slightly at the angle at the shoulder area, and attach it to the shoulders. Cut off the excess, pinch it in the middle for the elbow, Next, I'm going to check that the proportions are right, so I'm placing the legs near the body and I'm seeing here that my body is a little bit longer than needed, so I'm just going to cut out a small piece. So one of his hands is in his pocket and for the second hand we're going to take a small piece of skin colored fondant, squish it like this in between your fingers, cut out the fingers using the exacto knife and attach it to the sleeve. For the finishing touch, we're going to attach the shoes to the pants. You can use some water to glue the shoes to the pants. And now we're going to leave the figure to set and to harden a little bit. Uh, but before it gets completely hard, insert two skewers into the legs so you can place it uh, safely on top of the cake. Imagine your friends' faces when you will surprise them with this unique cake topper that you made by yourself using the Ovani's Photo to Fondant face sculpting tutorial which is our best-seller product at ovanis.com. Of course, it's not only limited for wedding cake toppers and you can make our friends and family. You can make your child, you can make your husband, you can make a celebrity, you can make your child's head on a superhero's body. The possibilities are endless and this is a truly, truly amazing product.